These guidelines are not enforceable by law, but like we said, federal funding could be at stake. The group Alliance Defending Freedom has filed two federal lawsuits in North Carolina and Illinois over this issue. It says it's taking legal action on behalf of parents who are, quote, understandably concerned about their children. And this afternoon, the question you're probably asking, what does this new directive mean for my child? Will there be any sweeping changes come Monday? The Now's Ann Kelly is looking into all of this today. She's outside of Arsenal Tech High School. And Ann, we know that they've, uh, well, you've been on the phone calling all day uh, asking districts about this. What have you learned? Well, Candace, I've learned most area school districts don't want to publicly tackle this topic, that of transgender students and which restrooms they can use. Call your emailing today more than 25 area school districts trying to get their say what this would mean for them. And of those who of, did, who, of those who did respond, no one willing to go on camera. Now, most school districts telling me they had no comment or needed to talk further with their legal team, dig further into what this directive really means. Now, an interesting detail, while you received an RTV6 push alert last night about this topic, this morning, many school districts saying they were in the dark. Even as of early this afternoon, they had yet to get this letter that was supposedly being sent out by the Department of Justice, this letter spelling out these new guidelines. So the answer, the question, Again, what changes will this mean for your child's school, for their district? Well, the answer right now is that a lot of schools and districts, they don't really know. I can tell you, though, one district did directly say that being IPS, that uh, they will do whatever is asked by the government. The IPS saying in a statement that all of its schools, like Arsenal Tech here, they currently work on a case-by-case -case basis with students who are transgender to figure out a bathroom situation. But going forward, they will figure out what needs to be done to meet these new directives from the Obama administration. Reporting live downtown for the now in Ann Kelly, RTV6. We're also hearing from state leaders on today's directive from the Obama administration. In a statement, Superintendent of Public Instruction Glenda Ritz calls education a civil right. She says, I believe that all children deserve to learn in an environment that is safe and welcoming. We reached out to the Governor Pence's office for comment, but have not heard back yet. What came out from the Obama administration today is not the force of law. So it's not going to end this conversation. To think that it's, it's done, uh, I think, is flawed thinking. A proposal at the State House would have made it a misdemeanor for a person to enter a public bathroom designated for the opposite sex in a school building. But it did not receive a hearing this year.